It's crab season and many fans converged in Fresh Creek Andros this weekend for the annual Crab Fest. The event not only brought families together, but also provided support to the local economy. Our lucky reporter, Janea Noel Ferguson, was there. She has a story. The annual Crab Fest attracting thousands, whether it was participating in the crab catching competition, a watermelon eating contest, or catching the biggest crab, a good time was had by all. But for many Androsians, it was an opportunity to visit the largest Bahamian island that they once called home. Crab Fest is the next biggest thing in this country next to John Canoe. This, this, this event attracts people from all over the country, in fact, internationally all over the world. This is the major thing in the country culturally next to the John Canoe. Well, listen, I can tell you one thing. When you come with you, all you got is a beautiful woman. Well, I love everything about Crab Fest, the environment, the people, the food, and most of all, hanging with friends. I'm a hometown boy, Calabash Bay. So I come every year. This is my fifth year in a row. I love it. While the various competitions were taking place, food was the main attraction, as many supported the local vendors. The annual event also attracting some international guests. We heard about it on our resort, they told us, and, and so we thought, hey, why not? We um, are a lot really interested in the culture of the Bahamas, and so we thought this was a perfect opportunity to get some of that. And this one visitor giving lessons on how to eat crab. But most importantly, these down home Androsians say they support the event to give back to the community. It's good to give back. It's good to give back instead of going to the U.S. and spending the money. Spend some money home. Keep it within the family. The same $20 you spend in the U.S., you could spend here, and it goes a long way. And despite the heat, many say they will be coming back for more next year. I'm a first time at a crowd fest, and out here, hot. No, there's a different type of heat in Andres. This heat on a different level altogether. So mark it on your calendar to meet these folks in Fresh Creek in 2013. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS News.